Understanding the phrase, backbencher. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms and phrases. We're going to explore the meaning and usage of the term, backbencher. This phrase has intriguing connotations in various contexts, and understanding it can enrich your English language skills. The term, backbencher, originates from the parliamentary system, particularly in countries like the United Kingdom. In these settings, the benches in the back rows of the parliamentary chamber are occupied by junior members or those not holding office in the government. These individuals are called, backbenchers. The term symbolizes their relative distance from the center of legislative power, which is typically the front benches where the more senior members sit. In a broader sense, backbencher refers to someone who isn't in a position of authority or isn't particularly influential in their group or organization. This usage has spread beyond politics and can be applied in various social and professional settings. For example, in a classroom or a company, a backbencher might be someone who is less active or noticeable than others. Backbencher can carry different connotations depending on the context. Sometimes it might imply a lack of ambition or engagement. However, it can also refer to someone who prefers to stay out of the limelight but is observant and knowledgeable. In colloquial usage, calling someone a backbencher doesn't necessarily mean they are ineffective, it might just indicate their position or approach within a group. 1. Despite being a backbencher in his early years, he eventually rose to a prominent leadership position. 2. In our project meetings, she's a bit of a backbencher, but her written reports are always outstanding. 3. The backbenchers in the class were surprisingly the most enthusiastic in the science fair. And there you have it. The term, backbencher, is a versatile phrase in the English language, rich in history and varied in application. Whether in politics, education, or everyday conversation, understanding this term can add depth to your comprehension of English. We hope this video has been insightful, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating phrases with you in the future. Keep learning and keep exploring!